Okay, seeing how many of you were confused with the prime number program, I've decided to write a program that helps check if a number is prime or not, okay? Before starting the program, let's create a main function here. And let's call the main function here. So we are going to write a function that checks if a number is prime or not. So let's call the function's name is if is prime. What it takes is it takes a number which is which it is going to check if it is prime or not. Okay. So before starting, what uh, that function would look like? Let's say what let's define a prime number. So prime number is a number that is divisible by one and itself only. For example, a prime number would be 17 because nothing in between one and 17 divides it. Okay. Another example of a prime number would be 13 but the example of a number that is not prime would be 15 because it is divisible by 1, it is divisible by 3, it is divisible by 5 and it is divisible by 15 so it is not prime. Another example of a number that is not prime would be let's say 4 itself is a number that is not prime. Because it is divisible by 1, it is divisible by 2 and it is divisible by 4 and so on. So how can we check if a number is prime or not? Let's say we're checking this number 6. How will we check if this number is prime or not? We'll first divide it by 2 and we'll look at the remainder. If the remainder is equals to 0, we can be sure that it is not a prime number because some number in between 1 and 6 leaves a perfect remainder. By perfect remainder, I mean a 0 remainder when it is divided by any number in between. So let's see so we will like like i said we'll start okay dividing number so we'll start dividing it with two and we will keep on increasing this dividing number until we reach that number and that's the point at which we'll stop checking if the number is prime or not okay so we will div so we will divide number let's call remainder is the remainder that is left when number is divided by and this is the remainder operator you know that right so divide dividing number so the remainder of number divided by this dividing number is remainder so if remainder is equals equals zero we can know the number is not prime so at that point we will let's call this variable prime first let's assume it is a prime number so we, i'll just initialize this variable prime to true so if that is the case we can be sure that our number is not prime so we'll just update this variable now if the number is not prime we will run a while loop and we'll stop it but first let's return prime at this point but like i said earlier if the remainder is not equal to zero i'll have to divide it with i'll have to divide number with another number that is increased by one to this dividing number so I should put it all in a while loop here so so I should keep on dividing that unless divide until dividing number is less than number so I will have to run the while loop as long as dividing number is less than the number itself and I will have to keep on dividing until I know it is not a prime number so I will put and 
prime here here so I'm increasing the dividing number every time I am in the while loop itself so dividing number plus equals one so let's save it as p checker dot prime let's if I run it right now it is not going to do anything so let's call this function let's print 17 is a prime number so it will like print true or false if we call is prime with 17 we will know accordingly let's try another number which we know is not prime so the line 6 is a prime number this statement is true or false we will see 96 right okay so let's run this okay it said 17 is a prime number true 96 is a prime number false so let's put this here and let's bring our number 17 let's plug our number 17 to this number so dividing number is true is 2 number is 17 prime is true so dividing number which is 2 is less than number which is 17 so this thing is true and prime is also true so our while condition is met so the remainder when 17 is divided by 2 is not equals to 0 so it will not fall in this if block and instead dividing number will be increased by 1 so now dividing number is 3 okay so 3 is less than 17 and prime is still true so it will go and find the remainder when 17 is divided by 3 which is also not equals to 0 so it goes on increasing dividing number and at one point dividing number will be equal to the number itself so at that point this thing will be false so the while loop will not be it will not go in the while loop and it will return prime which was true by default so that is why this number was a prime number now let's see this number 96 so number is 96 dividing number is 2 so it will see 2 is less than 96 yes and prime is true when we started right so that's also true so both of them are true so it will go in the while loop here it will find the remainder when 96 is divided by 2 which will be equals to 0 so remainder is equals to 0 so it will come inside the if statement and prime will now be a false variable so this thing will be false it will increase dividing number by 1 so dividing number now will be 3 and it will go up here again dividing number 3 is less than the number 96 this this thing is true but at this point prime is false because we we updated prime at this point here so prime is, will, will be false and since this is an end condition it will the whole thing will be false so it will not go in the while loop and it will come out of the while loop at this point prime is false so it will return false so that's why 96 is a prime number is a false statement. I hope that helps someone.